I'm always excited about the opportunity to help with a new species, and Chester the bull was one of my first ungulates. Chester had been in a scuffle with another bull on the Buckingham farm, and the fight left him with a bad leg and hip. His people, Jeff and Joan, wanted to move him from one side of their ranch to the other, where the ground was more level, and they wanted him to know about their plans for him. When I told him his people wanted to move him to a safer corral to make him more comfortable, he asked me to show him the route. With telepathic pictures, I showed him that he would need to journey uphill and downhill to get there. The feeling he sent back to me was a painful one. He told me it hurt his hip both to go uphill and to go downhill, and that while he was willing, it would take him some time to make that journey. I let Chester know that his people didn't want to use the dogs to hurt him. Instead, they wanted the move to be as stress-free, peaceful, and nurturing as possible. Jeff and Joan thought they'd give him a whole day to make the journey, but Chester's time frame was more like a week. And that's, I think, where it's helpful to work with somebody who can really communicate with an animal like Susan because we have ideas that aren't necessarily the way things are going to go. When we moved him up into the corral, that last section was a pretty long walk for him and his condition, and he made it all within just a, you know, probably 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, and he, he does seem much happier and is moving a lot better now. In that situation, when a bull's that big and when he's in, you know, injured like that, it doesn't work to try to push him. You just they, kind of they, clap our hands behind and say, they, come on, let's go, let's go. They and, get you know, stubborn. So. And yeah. so the harder you push, the harder they push back. That's why it was so helpful to have Susan help us kind of line yeah. things up with him so he knew we were taking him to a better place for him to rest. And he wasn't resisting at that point. What was really nice about it was once he got into the corral, it became clear very quickly how comfortable he was within the first few days yeah. and how easy it was for him to walk on level ground to get water and then walk to a nice soft spot to lie down. Yeah. He looked very relieved yeah. to be in there. It's like, okay. Chester loved his new corral. The three of us thought he would especially enjoy the shade of a large tree that was there, and he did, but not in the way we thought he would because he didn't spend any time in the shade of the tree. Once again, an animal taught me the lesson that it's not what you think. When Chester told me he admired the tree, but didn't hang out in the shade of it because the sun was very healing to his hip and leg. Yes, he told me, the tree was a very nice touch, but he was happy right there in the sunshine.